In the 1960s, NASA was preparing to send astronauts to the moon for the first time. In order to do this safely, they needed high-resolution photos to make sure the surface of the moon was safe to land on, and to help them pick potential landing spots. These photos would help prepare astronauts for their trip to the moon which would take place in 1969. Boeing and Eastman Kodak have already developed a spacecraft for the Department of Defense that contained its own camera system, and researchers were able to use this technology for their mission. NASA launched Lunar Orbiter 1, the first of five lunar orbiters on August 10, 1966. It took the orbiter 92 hours to get close enough to orbit the moon. Some describe the orbiters as flying photography lamps. Before this, however, the first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet Lunar Program, with the first manned landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. The primary objective of Apollo 11 was to complete a national goal set by President John F. Kennedy, and this was on May 25, 1961. The goal was to perform a crewed lunar landing and return to Earth. During the exploration, the two astronauts were to collect samples from the moon and return them to Earth. They were also given instructions to photograph the lunar surface as much as they could. On July 20th, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon. Around six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. The mission was a success and the astronauts, along with NASA, were hailed as doing the impossible. It brought in a whole new audience who had an interest in space and space exploration. It's hard to imagine what the astronauts would have been thinking while they were up there. Being alone when no man has ever been is massively daunting, but the question that some have had in recent years is were they truly alone? If you ask the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, they will tell you that when they was on the moon, the astronauts were completely alone. But others are not so sure about this. The evidence they have for the astronauts allegedly not being alone is that of old Apollo photographs that seem to show strange objects in the background. Now, before we continue, it's important to note that NASA and other scientists have denied these claims stating that what people are seeing is just anomalies on camera equipment, or space debris that happens to get picked up by the camera. Theorists don't believe these claims though, as they've said these objects that are seen in old Apollo images matches those seen on Earth. This in turn has caused amateur researchers to speculate that perhaps these crafts being witnessed by millions of people across the world are actually coming from outer space. Now it's important to remember that a UFO is simply an object that cannot be identified at that moment in time. It's only been in recent years that UFOs and aliens have been linked. Regardless, it's still bizarre the amount of reports that are submitted every year in regards to UFOs. In recent years, it hasn't just been random people that have come forward with their encounters. Credible eyewitnesses have opened up about seeing UFOs. This includes people like pilots and even astronauts themselves. On top of this, Navy officials and even the US government have opened up about the UFO phenomena, causing some to think that perhaps there's more to these sightings than what we're being told. Going back to the Apollo missions, this interesting photograph was said to have been taken during Apollo 17. As stated on NASA's website, Apollo 17 was the last lunar landing mission Three EVA activities lasted a total of 22 hours and 4 minutes on the lunar surface. But amateur researchers managed to find this interesting anomaly in the background of one of the images. Theorists stated that the craft is triangular in shape and matches those that are commonly reported on Earth. These triangular UFOs have been seen for years, with pilots coming forward in detailing similar looking crafts. After being shared in UFO groups, one of the members said the following, It's tedious work, but if you have the time, many of these strange objects can be found in old Apollo images. They match the triangle UFO that so many have seen, displaying the three lights that the craft often gives off. End quote. 
it's often said by some that these crafts are owned by the government. But it begs the question, did they have these triangular crafts in use back in the 60s? Or do they belong to someone else? These giant black triangles are commonly seen in various countries. Most commonly the United Kingdom, the United States and Germany. The craft in the photograph matches the description of the triangle UFO, which caused some to suggest that they don't belong to us. Various triangle-shaped UFOs have been seen close to the moon, which has made some question why they're there and why they're so interested in our moon. As mentioned, this craft in the Apollo photograph matches the typical description of the triangle UFO, which caused some to think that they must not belong to us. For over 40 years, the triangle UFOs caused much debate. It's perhaps one of the most common shaped UFOs that's been seen. These crafts are often reported as being silent, and have been on a number of occasions just hovering in the sky. Sightings of the triangle UFOs often come in waves, with people seeing dozens at a time. They are also perhaps the most photographed UFO as well, with even news programs covering them. What's most impressive about these objects is that they've been witnessed hovering motionless in the sky, and then suddenly making a high-speed departure. Pilots have said that they are faster than any conventional aircraft that's currently in the sky. Some have put forward the theory that the Triangle UFO is a top-secret government craft, while others have said that it's most likely the next step in the stealth series of crafts, hence why they're able to do things that other planes can't. There is still a group of people though that think these objects are unexplained. Although we mentioned that sightings come in waves, here in the UK these crafts are seen nearly every other week. Incredibly, there have been around 4,000 reports of the Triangle UFO since the 1990s in the UK alone. There have also been waves of Triangle UFO sightings in Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. Going back to the Apollo photograph, Skeptics point out these small dots can't be taken seriously, and that what people are seeing is just some type of photographic anomaly. Others, however, have disagreed with this idea, and have said this isn't the first time that a strange-looking object has been photographed in space. So what do you guys make of this photograph taken on the moon? Do you think it shows a triangular object, or do you think it's just a photographic anomaly? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.